versus Winter Bear here in game two. So, so sort of overall, what, what's jumping out at you from the drafts there? Anything in particular looks strong? Anything you feel that's going to have a rough time? Uh, Draft-wise, it's I think it's the Monkey King. <laughs> 1,000 ping. I oh am. Wow. He's got more ping than I have that MMR. That's a joke, by the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am higher than 1K. <laughs> <laughs> 1.2, mate. Don't worry. I'm 1.2. Oh, he actually does. He has 1,143 1 ping, Chief. 1,143. That's a, that's a high what? score. That's a, that's a lot oh. of ping. Let's hope, uh, that's like yeah. the lottery win. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot of ping. Well, let's hope uh, we can get things or you know, the internet can sort itself out here a little bit and uh, make things a little better than 1,100 ping. That's quite a lot. Looks like we're ready to try. All right, let, let me check the ping now. Ah, oh, okay. It's now he's at 111. So, oh, that's a big difference. He, he, he's reduced it by, you know, a, a, thousand, a smidge. That's about um, a thousand ping, yeah. <laughs> by a thousand Quite a ping. lot, yeah. Well, here we go. Here we <sighs> go. But you're, you're talking about the draft, and yeah, it's yeah. the... I think the Monkey King was the biggest nuisance to Winterbear in the draft, because in the previous game, it was position five. And I think they had that essence of, ah, oh, it's probably a supporting style of Monkey King again. And then you get this last pick, Timbersaw, Monkey King now into the Kunker, and... Like, most teams against Team Board ban Timber in the first two, right? Like, you rarely give this team Timber because Rajix will make so much space in the game that, you know, Gorg, Excalibur, they can have their kind of free games to hit creeps and do what they need. So, yeah, it's... I think Monkey King has unlocked this draft and hopefully... I say hopefully. Uh, let's rephrase that. No bias. I'm not a fan of uh, Rajix. Um, we might see... Um, yeah, just Timbers or 1v9 here, because there isn't really any damage, right, to, to kill him. Like, there isn't that yep. innate, yep. this hero comes here, kill. Like, they just physically have zero damage for this hero until they all have, you know, an abundance of items. I oh, will see. Uh, down here on the bottom lane, Gorg taking tr quite a bit of a punch as he has to TP his way over he the lane. He died. <laughs> oh. If they if they continue to click him, like it, it would have been, been at least you know fifty HP or something. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah it would it would have? It, it did take him a while with that TP. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was a long one. As it is, he's he's in the lane. Uh, and what do we expect out of this? Is this really sort of as rough as people say with the whole sort of Oracle being able to stop anything that the Dark Seer tries to set up? It's rough because you can't play inside the lane anymore. You yep. need to basically just pull waves back, get levels, and you're playing more of like a a farm war. And Oracle, he can die if, for example, he steps up trying to chase that wave down into the, like a boulder smash. He could maybe feed once or twice, but yes, it the Oracle completely shifts the dynamic of a dark ceiling. Oh, and I it's know. just basically top farming. lane. Might get ourselves a bit of a first blood. Oh no, 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 not quite gonna have the cooldown on the early dagger Please to keep going for it. Under attack. The South will keep them fine. But yeah, it looks like they're doing exactly that down bottom, as you say, just messing with the, the creeps is, is where they meet as Charles tries to get behind the tower. But yeah, you can see here now, Exxon, he kind of made a little mistake there because he didn't connect the wave. So when you have people... Oh, wait, Pablo, dying. Oh, there we go. Hi, this boss. time around, they get the job done. Mate. And no emotion after it. Um, but yeah, so when you have people dragging waves and stuff, the support naturally will play to grab the creep wave coming in to then pull it back into the jungle and connect it. So letting the creeps go on the tower, missing a couple of CS, it's very small stuff, but yeah, right now this bot lane, it's just going to be back and forth, randomly grabbing creeps. Maybe we see a, a go here and there, but yeah, it's everyone's just farming. <laughs> With this type of gameplay, everyone will be hitting creeps. Back to meeting in the lane, top lane. Pablo might be in trouble again here. He's got the bugs upon him. He'll pop a verifier, won't save him. A second time here that Winter Bear being able to take Pablo out of that top lane. Yeah, this is this is really nice stuff. You know, Timbersaw, we've already mentioned, is the unkillable hero in this uh, matchup. Of course, when you hit level three, uh, two point reactive, it's super hard to kill. But the support that plays with the Timbersaw, that is the food. And we, we can't try and Forget the fact that Weaver PA is a stupidly strong combination. You know, you put the swarm onto a hero, minus armor, with a blightstone, a dagger, ooze, like they're gonna die. So right now, Pablo probably should adjust where he's playing, maybe just move around the map now because Timbersaw can't die by himself. 
but he's the one that can give PA just enough to survive this lane. So yeah, as you see here, he's waddled back to mid lane. He's left this uh, this area, and we are probably going to see Rajik solo and Pablo just be a little bit more, you know, active on that. Maybe even go bottom to kill because there is kill threat in bot lane with the potential dilation at three with a stun from the Venge. Could be seeing some killing happen. See in the mid lane, Pastel, not having an easy time at all. Uh, as sort of predicted by the panel, the matchup, not an easy one for the Kunker, and we're, we're seeing that on the CS. Sort of a so it's don't the mid know. and the off lane is where we're seeing the big differences. The two carries, Gorg and Reality, they're they're kind of level at the moment in the farm, but uh, mm -hmm. the other roles we're seeing yep. a big bit of a big difference here in the first few minutes. Yeah, and that is kind of a kind of testament to how Team Board does often win their their games. It's Excalibur playing a scaling core in the mid lane be it some Lina, Medusa, Lone TA style of hero. And when he gets that good start, the rest of the team can rally behind him really well. Right, bottom lane, zoom zigzag. He's able to get the roll in onto X and he'll get the kill. Surge up as well to get him out the reach of Gorg's face is void. The bash. Look at the magic missile set up. He's gonna need a couple of bashes. Oh, well, maybe just the one of them oh. would have done it actually, but he doesn't get any of them. So Gorg won't be able to pick <laughs> that up. Uh. Do love a good centaur stomp, but yeah, he'd already used his bash. If he got another bash, then that'd been above quota. Bit, uh, maybe some streamer bias there. No, yeah, really solid start. I didn't really want to mention the the, the Kunker and the the Monkey King CS. I think most people have seen it by now, and they've already come to their own conclusion. But yeah, Pastel is not having a great time. But it is he's had two games in a row where hero matchups have been like horrendously against him. Like this isn't some like Voice Spirit Ember Spirit situation. You know, this is like. Like, probably 75-25 matchups both times. Poor Pastil. Right, we've got a gank coming in onto him as well here. Pablo leads in with the magic missile. Phantasma is there to hold the two of them off. In fact, they're going to try and take down Excalibur. The bug's on him. He's getting pretty low. They come in with a tiebringer hit. Excalibur attempting to keep himself healed up with the Jingu Master, and it is working. Excalibur's able to get away back under the safety of his tower. They will take down Pablo. So Winter Bay at least able to get something out of that, but couldn't quite get the big kill Ooh. onto the Monkey King. Yeah, they were really, really close to getting the kill, but the fact that they, yeah, you know, in he had the uh, the Jingu up, so he could lifestyle off with the minus arm again, a little bit more healing. And they, yeah, if maybe if they killed Monkey King there, that would have given Kunku a little bit more breathing room. Let's see on top. Reality in trouble. Rajix, one more nuke will do it. Miss. Oh, nice job. He has another blink. Rajix has still got a fair bit of mana to play around with though, and they will indeed find reality in the tree line. Mid lane, set up attempt onto Excalibur, they're coming in with the three of them. This time round, they should be successful with this. They're able to bring him down, he throws out the boundless strike, but not after he's able to build up the Jingu. So no heals coming in from that time round, they will manage to kill him. That was honestly so close. Monkey King, he, he just got the Jingu from the stun. If he was able to get like one click off then Jingu, he probably would have lived there, but super, super close. And you can see Winter Bear, again, it's just identifying the obvious strengths of Team Board. You can't kill a Fierce's Void. You don't have the reliable stuns for him. You No way you can kill Rajix unless you're wasting time, which obviously opens up the map. So killing mid lane is the key uh, kind of point in the game right now. Maybe if Gorg missteps, into then like an, a torrent situation or a, a vacuum back and he's waste time walk he can die but yeah right now team board have that confidence of just farming most of the map and it's pretty much it's on the oracle to be in the right position to read where that aggression comes as uh yeah he just read the <laughs> the two heroes bottom but yeah basically this is what needs to happen from team board oracle avenge just kind of wander around find some cause you might die but you just allow everyone else to just get fat and hit this like 12 minute timing that will be pretty hard for Winter Bear to deal with. Let's see what they can do over here is Rajix. He's, he's going to be taking quite a bit of the, the prepared jungle away from them as they get in. Phantasma attempted to try and steal some of them, but he's not going to be able to do so. And in fact, he's in trouble himself. They've got the detection down. Pablo sets up with a missile, the burst there from Rajix. See if Winter Bear can kill either of the two of them. Rajix is still too tanky with the max reactive armor. They can't go for him. Pastor will get the bow out. Gold jumps forward. They're all going for the action here. Very early moment in the game. Eight minutes in. We're seeing Team Bowl come into the jungle of Winter Bear. And they will be successful. They steal a good share of the creeps that Ooh, were set up. Uh, can they go for her as well, Rajix? <laughs> 
to the try. Toy. Yeah, we'll get her over the tree lines for safety. But Team Bot, they're speeding it up already. I mean, we even saw sort of Gorg coming in. He, he, he was, at the moment, he was before level six even, ready to sort of join the team. Now he's hit the six, now he's got the Chrono. Team Bot, they are speeding it up again. It's honestly just nice moves, right, from, from Team Bot. You know, Exen dies bottom on the Oracle. So Gorg knows that if he stays bot, it's probably going to be a gank of PA plus two or three heroes onto him. So he moves with the team into that aggressive fight. You're taking away like this triple or quad stack. I can't remember which one it was, which maybe you could argue shouldn't have been made, especially when there's a Timbersaw who can take it quite easily and had been scouted out multiple times. But yeah, just team will, you know, game after game, if they win their lanes, they're going to be at, you know, group up as five at at some point within, you know, a couple minutes after that and be in, in your face and, you know, a t 2k lead and that's pretty much just the Timbersaw by himself holding up that lead button. <laughs> yeah, and I, I struggle to see how they kill him. It's Winter Bear, it's mode, push waves and, and prolong and wait for uh, an overextension right now from Team Ball because if they just keep playing behind this uh, Timbersaw, it will be pretty hard to kill him. Yeah, I feel like we've, we've definitely seen Rajix in this position many times before on his Timber and he has you know, ended up looking pretty un unstoppable, unkillable right up until an Ancient Falls. Let's see what they I can do. I think luckily for Winter Bear, yeah. they do kind of have some split pushing heroes in their, their kind of arsenal right now. The Darkseer can just aggressively position here, put away a shell on. You can maybe put the Weaver in an aggressive position, also farming. And then you, it opens up like a small pocket of jungle to farm. The issue here is it's both the Kunker and PA that need to farm that. And, you know, Rajex, he's already, you know, identified that this type of play and he's just beelining it into what was somewhat Winter Bear territory. And this is, yeah, it's, it's pretty rough for them right now. Like, often you talk about moments where there's like a smoke gank or a chance to get back in, but there really isn't that play that you can envision right now for Winter Bear. Oh, they look for the setup on the mid onto Pablo, but they can't quite get the clean opening and zoom zigzag will be left behind as the rest of Winter Bear run. Excalibur is coming into the triangle. Reality already playing it safe. He's out of the area, so Team Bob won't find anything more. And you can just use this as like a, an example of how to play like aggressive Dota is once you get one pick off, as long as you have a hero that has the strength to tank an initiation, you just sweep the map non-stop, right? Like, as for it dies, Monkey King's already running into a triangle. Like, even if Monkey King gets jumped by a couple of heroes, there's going to be that follow-up to annoy them. Like, reality, this PA, Monkey King stopped him from farming triangle because he was scared of a chase. He goes bottom, Rajix is instantly like, like, they're always just moving around the map with the confidence and it's like Winter Bear are only farming what they're given and that's at 11 minutes like this is this is difficult and they try to get a pick off on the support uh, on the Monkey King sorry but again unable to get it yeah they're able to hit him with the wall but the vacuum not quite grabbing him Gorg is going to jump in with the Chrono he's caught the two of them takes down Phantasma moves over towards Pastil but Pastil's a little more tanky Boundless Strike is there onto the two of them. Boats coming in to back them up as well with Torrent. They're going to be able to bring down the Oracle. That's excellent gone. So if they can get anything more out of this. Excalibur. He's got the Wukongs down. Phantasma trying to fight through it. Roll forward from Zoom Zigzag. It's going to miss, but they should still have the kill. They surround the Monkey King and take him out. Winter Bear will be able to beat Team Bold out of the jungle. Battling off that aggression. They're fighting underneath the outpost, so the buyback value instantly there. And also Rajik's just just pushing bottom, right? Like he, there's no way for him to really enter this engagement. TPing to a top tier one isn't really that favorable. So yeah, this is one of the best opportunities Winter Bear would have had to uh, get a kill. They're gonna and try. Maybe... They're gonna try and get get Rajix in. They're, they're bringing in the full Everyone's squad coming. pretty much. Can they take him down? Rajix has already killed off one of them. He's pretty tanky here. He's got a hood of defiance. I don't know if they can. I think they're starting to doubt themselves whether they can actually kill this timber sort. As Rajix, he's still kind of chilling. He's got a bug on it's him. It's 1v4, Owen. Yeah, it's, this is the problem with Rajix at this point on his timber. He's so, so huge at this early in the game. He's just unkillable. Pastille's also going to die because now Rajix has bought time for the rest of Team Bold to come over and help out. Not that he needed it. I mean, yeah, this this is the the worry of the timber saw at this stage. Rajix seems unkillable. Ah, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I think that's just Timbersaw, right? Like, we, we've, we've mentioned it already. He takes so much damage, but when when he enters the engagement and has Hood available, I think he had like an 18 wand at some point. Like, you're not killing this lad. Like, maybe if you had an early vessel on someone, but at 13 minutes, unless a core's rushing it, it's pretty hard to get that online. So, yeah, very much. Yeah. If you see Timbersaw, run away. That is, that has to be the the new game plan for Winter Bear. Like, if they, if they see... This lad, no, please. It, it it's actually impossible. Like they will lose, they will lose the game if they try and kill him again. Like, yeah, oh, it it, scares, it it pains me to even talk about how like deadly Rajex, Rajex is right now. And I think he's got the yours complete coming in, or is this just a, yeah? It should be a yours coming out, right? So even harder to kill in the upcoming minutes. I see. Went to bear, they're going to try and make a move for Gorg. Or at least they, they head into the triangle. They've got uh, just the two of them. And in fact, they're having a run. As Gorg's going to try and turn with the help of Ixen. See if this Zoom Zigzag can get out of it. He's, he's going to actually get Chrono. Gorg, no commit. Don't get a lot of bashes. <laughs> what? There we go. <laughs> Wasn't getting a lot of bashes there at all, but he gets enough. He's able to take him down, but it does cost the Chrono. I'll see bottom, Pablo. Oh, he's going to turn and Excalibur is watching from the trees. Another sentry thrown down as Eichsen looks to have the follow-up control. Swap back. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. Well, there's, there's the swap break in the trees there. And uh, Excalibur loses out the chance to be able to be the one that picks up that kill. So Eichsen will gladly take it himself instead. That was a, uh, a tactical swap for the greater good of the supports. You yes, know, it's exactly. kind of, he's had a pretty good time. You know, got to spread the wealth. I see Pastel and Zoom Zigzags sticking together up here, trying to maintain control of their jungle. Pastel just a recipe away from the BKB to make sure that you can really commit and get in on the front line. Progress for reality. Oh, we see he's got the first Mithra Hammer done. Ah, he's very close to the Desto, actually. So Desolator should yep. be online for the next fight. There is going to be a timing in which Winter uh, Winter Bear will be able to actually take a fight because they're going to have like Solar Crest on Weaver. You've got the BKB at Kunker, Desolator Rush on PA. Like they, they are kind of itemizing for this surprise gotcha type pick off. Well, obviously, this won't be for Timber, so it'll be for like killing off the Void, killing off the Monkey King. Where if they walk into these like areas without vision, that instant like explosive damage, Earth Rit Roll, PA Jump, you know, everyone collapses, get the kill then maybe it could unlock the engagement. Because Timbersaw, even though he's extremely strong in taking over the map, he obviously does struggle in teamfight presence if he doesn't have the lockdown, right? So maybe if Winter Bear get that initiation on the void, take away that big area control, later into the game it could be okay. But again, realistically, this is just... This is like the 10% the chance that Winter Bear have. Like, it, it's very difficult. Obviously, Pastil will be able to get the bow out upon himself, but he's getting swapped back into the reach of Ixen, Rajix, and Excalibur. There'll be no further escape for this Kunkka. Yeah. And this. Anyone who shows Team Borg will always be ready and always make the play. Like, we haven't even seen kind of much from Team Borg in regards to making like smokes and stuff. They're just kind of slowly walking around the map, you know, doing what they need to do controlling up and maybe they they look towards Roshan at some point like they have this venge in the draft they're always gonna have this minus armor to to take it down and void with a maelstrom and a mask of madness should be good enough to to chunk it down so yeah this is a yeah they're, they're gonna be pretty much like take tier two go roshan kind of a part of the game for team board Phantasma. Oh, wondered if Gorg might have been tempted there to drop a chrono. Phantasma's going to have to stay hidden. Pablo also heading over to see what he could catch over here. You can see from Phantasma's warding, like every ward right now from Dyer is randomly in like lanes and just areas of the map. Like he's okay. I'm going to go split push by myself. I'm just going to put these cheeky little wards down and we'll just try and survive. Like you can, it feels weird. Like you rarely see a game be so not one-sided but so difficult and they have to split push this aggressively like not, there is not one opportunity for them to try and make a move right now 
and you see it through the vision, through the placement. Like they're just literally they're hugging the side lanes, skipping them out. Yeah, as you see here, it's top tower is under attack. this is difficult. Now two games in a row, Team Board have done a really good job at just kind of choking out their opponent to a point where they they feel this desperate to make these kind of these are kind of I guess weaker plays because they're plays that don't really give you instant kind of lead, uh, leads in the game. Oh, they're so close there to getting the the courier of Gorg, but Phantasma not quite having enough damage. To take it oh, he's out. going for it. He's still looking for it. Get a little bit of that extra <gasps> money, but uh, Gorg's on top of it. He's not going to let his courier get found. <laughs> uh, look, look, Radix is just walking through the enemy, stroking his beard, if you saw the player cam. Literally one-handed playing his Timbersaw right now. That is a bold statement. Uh, I mean, you, you missed it, unfortunately. It was a, it was a brief second and a half of a... Of a beard stroke. Let's see what we got going on here, they? We'll come out of the smoke there to <laughs> the kill the courier. <laughs> First his Jules died and now his Sanj Kaya died. Oh, hang on here. Pastel sort of oh. walking past the team there, sort of crossing past each other. He's got the BKB out, boat as well. Drops the combo onto Ixen, but already Ixen is keeping himself alive a little longer. Dagger will be thrown out. Ixen surely will die as Pastel does finish him off. See if they can get anything more here, Team Bolt. The Chakram's down, controlling Pastil. Kachal will turn with the combo, but he's now on his own, surrounded by Team Bolt as Kachal goes down, three dead. Disarm over onto Reality as the PA's looking for Ixen. He's set up in the air though by the Yules. Another hero surrounded and outnumbered by Team Bold as they take him down. That was a, a rather weird little smoke engagement, you know, they kind of walked past each other for a little bit. It was like, oh, ha, ha, welcome to the Roshan pit. This is nice. And yeah, they, they jumped the Oracle, which is probably one of the better jumps, as we see in a highlight here. They kind of walked past each other for a little bit. And this is kind of the the, the awkward point for Winter Bear. If they were able to instantly identify the Oracle, jump in pre-ultimate, get that kill, maybe they could have looked something, but they're fighting into an Aegis or instant buyback from Oracle TP and so. It, it felt a little bit like desperation going into the age specifically, but yeah, it's just kind of, look at them. They, I think Excalibur is also making kind of the, the same judgment call there. I oh, see Radjix. He's going to test his unkillability here. And oh, hey, there's a four-man Corona it's a five there for man. Mr. Gordon. Hey, he's got him in. That's true if you count Radjix. Oh. As that's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's going to end as exactly as you'd, you'd imagine when you hit a Corona with that many heroes. Just death after death after death here, unfortunately, for Winterbet. As they lose three, and they may lose Phantasme as well. See if he can get away from this. He's caught out by the root. Oh, he's, he's able to break away there with the Shikuchi. So Phantasma will live, but three dead on Winter Bear. Team Bold, they can get back on, are pushing to the high ground. As I think, yeah, Gorg's going to be relatively chuffed there with that Chrono. Yeah, it was, it was a sweet old Chrono, and that is Oh, and they get Phantasma. Oh, no. Pablo, he was... Oh, he went. He was chasing him across the map, but he gets the kill. To be fair, you don't really expect the Venge to chase you that far, right? Not it's just at all. The vengeable <laughs> thing. I, I do. I will say this. This shard on Venge is really nice. I'm not the big fight happening, but keep in note, Venge shard. It's good. Oh, swapping on the mid. Pastel has got the BKB. Turns with the bow. It's not going to be able to get the connection though, as Gorg jumps out in time. And Team Bold, they got what they came for. They take the mid-racks here again. Very early time here, 21 minutes in. Kachal from the edge. He's going to look for the combo. Vacuum wall is in play. Radjix is getting low. Reality jumps in the torrents onto the two of them. They get the two kills and the big one as well. They're finally able to take down Radjix. Nice. Okay, that was... Again, the product of push is always there will be people who stay behind, right? Like... They go for the mid fight, they instantly TP out. Naturally, two or three people are going to be in an awkward spot, either a longer TP or walking back through the map. So, Winter Bear, just of course, punishing the, the usual kind of effect of going high ground. But again, it's nice to see them make that punishment. Does it change much in the game right now? Probably not. But it does give them a glimmer of hope going, if we connect with these spells in this order, we can get a kill. Just. In a clean five on five, that is of course extremely difficult because you have Venge Swap, Oracle Ult, Time Walk, etc. etc. There's so many defensive mechanisms in Team Board's lineup, but again, Winter there. They're not backing out, they're still looking for the fight. 
maybe if they find the initiation they can do it but you can see from team ball drawing on the mini map it's like we just died cool whatever just run back into the area we don't need to care about this we don't need to overthink these deaths and you gotta say phantasma he's done a a, a nice job con constantly split pushing right like even that mid when they died he's instantly on the mid wave taken away like keeps the range racks alive because he killed that creep wave right like this He's non-stop doing this, but again, this is not Dota that wins you games. It's Dota that keeps you in the game to maybe have that fight later down the line. Two in the mid. Their eyes on Kachar. They get the drag back with the swap. Gets blown up there by the damage the Team Bold has right now. Yeah, Team Bold, they just need to get one creep wave down either top or bot lane, and they'll be able to take that second Rex as the creeps take away the range Rex. So if they can find anything down bottom, zoom zigzag. It's probably going to have to remain here, and we'll see if he looks to skip another wave. As Rajix and Gorg around. Going to try and find him, and they will. Excalibur in from the trees. Does manage to get the roll out okay. underneath them. That has been time dilated, and he's running out of options. He'll come in with the silence. Just managed to cut the tree. Won't be able to roll out those. Oh, Rajix no. finishes him off with a whirling death. That was pretty cool, though, from Earthrit, because when he rolled, he was stuck within a, a cluster of trees, and he would have to go into the tower to be able to get out. So he instantly just kicked a hole between the two, and then continued his journey. So nice little tree mechanics there to get around and continue the juke, but of, of course he dies. It's not as if he's going to suddenly make that great escape, but you know, it was pretty cool. And it does feel like Winter Bear is just, you know, sacrifice heroes, throw bodies across the map, make them play in an awkward spot, and then hope to get maybe half an item or one more item. You know, Kunkka not going for damage, just going for some control. With the Aghanims, you've got, what's that, PA, Basher, Darkseer, I think he might have the Ags complete now. Yeah, so they okay. have kind of hit a mini timing, but it's going to be how they approach this tier three defense. Is it going to be some three, four man vacuum into an Earth Spirit roll and suddenly you blow up a hero? But yeah, this is this is the last chance Winter Bear have in this game to, to try and just get something. They have the small items online now. It's not great, but they got to give it something. Let's have a look. Let's see what they can do here, Winter Bear. They're not, don't have the full team quite back over here for the defense at the moment. Just the three of them. The TP in back now. There we go. Got everything ready. Bash has picked up as well by reality. Ags on the Kunker. Let's see how they can start this. Radiant has a ward in the base, so they see all the movements of Winter Bear. It's going to be hard for them to hit that, that wall that they need to get. Yeah, and Gorg does have BKB and Chronosphere ready to turn any play that Winter Bear go for. Looks like Team Bold will respect the, the potential of the defense that Winter Bear have. They back off after taking the Tier 3 down. Winter Bear, they'll hit out with a smoke. Oh, this is nice. They see Monkey King top. They know it's a 4v5. Can they catch anyone? See if they can get their hands on it. Well, Rajix has an arcane. It's not really the target they want. They want something else. Rajix knows that. Puts himself in the middle of, of everything. They really don't want to go on the timber sort. And they can't quite get round into anyone else. Onto the side. Phantasma's found alone. Like, commendable stuff from Winterbear. Like being like that quick smoke as you see Excalibur being kind of greedy going to top wave so quickly well they're they're also quick to react right as soon as he goes out they're instantly running back they're putting Timbersaw slightly behind so if anyone does get jumped it's at least him so then they can turn it around but yeah Winterbear a second away maybe from catching a hero if they were able to kind of identify that play a little bit quicker but playing into nearly zero vision it's it's very hard to try and get that core cool. oh there we go, Reality. Comes to jump onto Excalibur, forces Excalibur to put that BKB. Quick jump out to the side, or look towards Axon instead. Force him to, to put the false promise upon himself. The boat's out, they'll roll over. Chrono's there though, Gorg once again able to catch a good Another number of them. Gets the, 
Uh, the all in here as Pastils popped the BKB, but the damage from Gorg's too much. As both the two cores are down, Reality and Pastel out of the fight. Zoom zigzag short to follow as well as they lose three heroes once again. Nice bash. It is impressive. Two Kronos in a row now. Gorg has hit beautiful five man. He doesn't hit anything less. Of course, he has a high standard for his Chronospheres. And at this point, yeah, it's probably walk it down mid and uh, or at least walk it down for another racks. But Gorg, he just wants to hit creeps. Normally, you'd see your carry run to this uh, into the bot part of the map and this, but he, he's going for a little bit more of a relaxed approach. To this Escalibur can fill the role and potentially hit this racks. I see what Winter Bear's got. They've got everybody back up in a couple of seconds. See if they can go for another attempt here to pull things together for the team fight combo that they do have. Just a little bit of time into the walls back up. 40 seconds, then they've got the combo. Yeah, so far, excellent as well. Really stellar game. Itemization wise, just going, you know, you know, cheeky little fluffy hat, then go for Ghost Scepter. You're not really dying at any point, and it's like super hard. He's ulting himself because he's putting himself in this position, so I think just the way in which he's played, positioned, he's playing for Rajix really well. He himself is, feels super tanky. Often Oracle is uh, the, the heart, the kind of easier to kill heroes. Once you have vision, you just jump and kill, but super heads up with the, with the Ghost Scepters, and it's just, yeah. All the team board just being a, really annoying, you know, mechanically in these fights to to not give Winter Bear even a glimmer of uh, of hope. And again, it's, we've just pretty much watched 20 minutes of split pushing and uh, and waiting for a fight that hasn't really come because team board has always been in a good position to prevent Winter Bear having that that, that, that one that opportunity. Phantasma, and he's going to get caught out. Tries to keep so the wave off the tower. Oh, 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 Winter Bear, they're on with a the tier 2 push of their own. Bring the creep wave round towards the bottom. They are almost certainly going to be forced to have to head back and try and protect this top set of racks. All right. I want to see a vacuum war. I mean, I want to see oh, the here we go. Oh, oh that's a great one. That's Drainer with the three man. They've taken down Gorg once, but he's got an Aegis. And Excalibur's able to put the BKB, get the Wukong's command down. As there's the Chrono, catches Pastille. As it was a great, great start to the fight. That was the lead in that they needed. But as it seems to be, it just comes a little too late in the game. And whilst they're a little too far behind, they land that sort of initiation. It doesn't matter. As Team Bold, they will resume the cleanup. Die back there on Pastille. Team Bold, they'll keep the push going. I mean, it looked cool. It, it did look cool. Again, it's just probably you know, 15 minutes a bit too late. You know, items are online for board. Oh, see Radix just get broken up. They're caught in the combo. GG's called. Yeah. And it will be Team Bold. They'll take this series clean here. 2-0.